Hello, welcome to this video. This time we're looking again at Google Classroom. Having given you a quick run through of the updates and changes, I'm now going to explore the feedback updates and how they've changed the way that you mark and feedback to your students. So this window, having gone into an assessment, is the same. You've got the number of pieces of work handed in. You can access all your students or you can just view the handed in students and you can sort by first name, surname or status. So just as before, you click on a piece of work, but instead of opening individual pieces of work, it now opens it in a Google Classroom frame. So we've got the piece of work there. We can link to it directly, so we can go directly to that piece of work, but now we can start to add our marks. So we've got a comment feedback that we can add comments in there. So if there's appropriate comments that we feel would benefit lots of students, we can add those and, and, and add to our comment bank. We can click on the, the three dots and change the total points. If we want it maybe out of 100, we could do that. We can enter in our marks and then we can add some comments to feedback. those and then obviously when you finished you could hit return to return the work to the student and then you've got two ways of moving on to the next learner you can either click on that downward arrow and select them or you can click on the arrow to move to the next person and again stays in the same window you can go to access the comment bank you can give them a mark you can also provide them with some feedback. And post that. And you've still got the ability to, to use the suggested tool if you have any other corrections you want to make in the specific document. So there you have it, a quick look at the grading of feedback functions on the newly updated Google Classroom. I think it makes it much easier and much quicker to mark students' work now. The fact you can see them all within that window and you can swap from learner to learner. And I, I like the way that the comment bank has been integrated into that to ensure that there's consistent feedback. So there you have it. I hope you found the video useful. If you liked it, please comment, share the video, and remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.